Welcome to Narcissistic Abuse Rehab. My name is M. This is episode two of Co-Parenting with a Narcissist featuring Dr. Michael Kinsey. Hello and welcome to Narcissistic Abuse Rehab. My name is M. I'm a certified recovery coach, educator, and author of the book, Are You In an Emotionally Abusive Relationship? It's a recovery tool I created after coaching people around the world and discovering how important it is to know how to spot the red flags of emotional abuse in relationships. It's also a self-reflection tool to help you build healthy boundaries. To thank you for supporting our channel, my gift to you today is a free copy which you can download by clicking on the link in the description box below. This message aims to inform, enlighten, and provide accurate general information about narcissistic abuse. It does not provide medical, psychological, or other professional services. If you decide that you need professional assistance, then please seek the relevant specialist advice before taking or refraining from any action based on information in this message. In episode one of Co-Parenting with a Narcissist, Dr. Kinsey talked about how children need to know that they're not living in an alternate reality from their parents. He shared the long-term developmental impacts some children suffer when exposed to narcissistic abuse. He gave tips on how to cope when the narcissist triangulates you and your child with their new partner. And he explained how to navigate one of the most extreme kinds of narcissistic abuse when the narcissist alienates you from your child. So don't miss episode one of Co-Parenting with a Narcissist. There's a link for you in the description box. Today, we talk more about strategies for people who are co-parenting with narcissists. Dr. Kinsey is the founder of the mental health blog Mindsplain.com. He is also the author of the award-winning children's picture book, Dreams of Zuganwa. He received his doctoral degree in clinical psychology from the New School for Social Research, and he's a specialist in the dynamics of personality, intergenerational trauma, and parent-child attachment. In addition to his distinguished background, Dr. Kinsey is in private practice in New York City. Today, he has a special surprise to help parents who are raising children with narcissists, so stick around until the end of this message to find out what he has for you. Now let's dive into episode two of Co-Parenting with a Narcissist. By the end of this video, you're gonna learn how to answer your child's questions about the behavior of their narcissistic parent. What is the best way to answer my child's direct questions when they're at an age when politician-style answers don't cut it anymore? This kind of goes to what we were talking about before, about Mm -hmm. the kind of gaslit reality children of narcissists find themselves in. Yeah, and kids are such good BS detectors, even from a young age. Mm -hmm. Um, One of the amazing things about our brains and how we're wired is simply that we can decode, maybe not consciously, but we can decode guarded answers from more free, authentic ones. We can tease these things apart with great precision. And I suppose any parent really knows this, whether you're involved with a narcissist or not, that that kids don't buy a lot of politician style answers. And the best advice I can give is, is something that I mentioned earlier, which is that you really have to understand in a compellingly empathic way why the narcissistic person acts the way they do. That might be hard to hear and it, it might sound like you're doing the work of condoning their behavior, which is important that I say that it's not the case. You know, mm. you can understand without condoning it and the more that the that someone's able to understand it the more clearly i think it brings into relief the why it doesn't work or why it's dysfunctional or why it shouldn't be the way it is you know for a lot of narcissistic people that explanation could be something like you know your father your mother had this experience growing up. What's closer to the truth is they're feeling this this vulnerable, sad, disappointed, hurt, other way. Mm. And mm. it would be much better for all of us 
if it if it happened differently but this is the way it is and there's a lot of people you'll run into in life who who act this way because it's very very hard to feel sad hurt humiliated etc mm, yeah yeah it's interesting because people who get targeted or many of the people who get targeted for this kind of abuse are highly empathic and what you you're the way you're describing this particular course of action it allows people to use that that empathy to actually push mm -hmm. through so i think that it's it's really interesting and solid way to go forward and, and just keep in mind that this is also a totally different strategy than you would use with the, the narcissistic person as well so w once a relationship has has gotten to a point where it's beyond repair you can speak respectfully and assertively without needing to empathize or condone their behavior whatsoever. But when you're talking about children, um, you need to understand that you cannot pit yourself against a child's love for their mother or father. Mm. It's um, you'll not, you'll not be well received and you're putting yourself in your relationship with your child at, at great risk by trying to, in some ways, um, stand in between them and one of their parents mm. because children just always love a parent even if it's unhealthy in many ways so when you're dealing with your kids you really have to be respectful of that love that they have for them and acknowledge the shortcomings but also make it okay for that child to to retain some sense of loving connection to them and retain some sense of, of loving connection to them and, and not not make it a sort of zero sum game where it, it's either it's either him or me or it's either her or me. Right. Like giving the children these sort of impossible choices. Absolutely. Yeah. That wraps up episode two of co parenting with a narcissist with our special guest, Dr. Michael Kinsey. To summarize while you don't need to condone or even empathize with the narcissist's behavior, you can develop a comprehension of why the narcissist acts the way they do and use your powers of empathy to help your child have a clear, loving, and compassionate understanding of their narcissistic parent's maladaptive behavior. Avoid falling into the traps of competing with the narcissist for your child's affection. Also refrain from criticizing the pure love your child has for their other parent because having positive regard for you and their other parent are essential components for your child's healthy psychological development. And now I get to share the amazing gift Dr. Kinsey has for you. He's giving away the first two chapters of his new book, Transcendent Parenting, a workbook for parents sharing children with narcissists. In this book, he uses his expertise to help you understand the state of play between you, your child, and their narcissistic parent. He gives you strategies and exercises to help you create the healthiest possible environment for your child to thrive in under these challenging circumstances. To get this important information, go to the link in the description box and log on to mindsplain.com where you can download your free copy of the first two chapters of his game-changing book today. I also want to share that you can find Narcissistic Abuse Rehab in this week's newsletter from our friends at Surviving Narcissism. I want to express my gratitude to Laura Charanza and Dr. Les Carter for kindly including us in their newsletter, so be sure to check that out. Now it's your turn to talk about your experiences of co-parenting with a narcissist. I want to know what challenges you are facing and what's been working for you. Your questions are always welcome, so let me know what's on your mind and what you'd like me to talk about in future messages. If this message helps you, please hit the like button and subscribe to help grow our channel. Come hang out between messages on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. If you want to take things further and book a coaching session with me, log on to NarcissisticAbuseRehab.com and send me a message requesting a free 15-minute consultation. Guys, that's it for now. Be good to yourself, and we'll talk again soon.